Hey guys, it's Corrales and welcome back everybody to the fourth part of the underground house and holy crap, so far I'm loving it and I'm really happy that you guys enjoy it, so thank you so much for the feedback. If you still enjoy it, make sure you hit the like button, it means the world to me and leave some nice feedback in the comment section, it doesn't have to be nice, but it's always nice because it's nice, it's nice, nice is nice and everything is amazing. First is first, today we're going to build the kitchen, we might build the hallway with a toilet and a little pantry type of thing going on and uh, we're going to see how far we get in this project. But somebody pointed this out. Let me just grab a furnace. Let me just grab a furnace. Somebody's like, Kiralas, everything is amazing, but those are too shiny. So we're gonna replace them. We're gonna see how that looks having the furnaces. The only downside with furnaces is they, they're clickable. So it's a little bit annoying when playing on survival because you end up on clicking them when you just click away. And clicking away on furnaces is a little bit annoying because it opens up the inventory of them and it's gonna be like meh. But um, you guys are right. You guys are absolutely small geniuses. This looks so much better just having those little furnaces here. Why did I ever doubt you guys? That is that is brilliant. Did we replace every single one? Let me see your kitchen, kitchen, kitchen. Kitchen is not replaced. So let's just replace the kitchen as well. Oh, do, oh, do. Perfect. Any, anywhere else? No, no, no. All right. So, uh, you know how this usually go, right? Oh, this looks so nice. Just, just a wall of shininess. Um, in each episode so far, we've been uh, we've been digging stuff, and uh, oh, what did I do that for? And today is is no different. But today is going to be very simple digging because what we're going to do, we're just going to dig this way until we reach. Oh, hi, kitchen, uh, living dining room, uh, so, yeah, room. Hi, um, we're going to dig until we reach the far end here. As you can see, there ends the wall, so we are pretty much on the wall. And uh, this is simple from now on because what we're going to do, we're going to follow this wall. That direction and we're gonna follow this wall here so if I just dig out this behind the stages let me see there it ends it ends on this block right so we're just gonna dig out this area that direction let me just dig a lot of blocks a lot of blocks a lot of blocks a lot of blocks there we go then I'm, now I'm gonna jump to that side and dig out that side and they should meet up and it's gonna be nine in height as well it's gonna be a big hole it's gonna be a big hole but um, yeah, like if you're doing this on survival, by the way, just dig, dig out the biggest hole you can ever possible, uh, possibly imagine and then start crafting away. There we go. Hello. Let's just cover that up and that up. And uh, as you can see, that wall here ends here. That wall there ends there. So that means nine blocks in height, counting with the ground level. So one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Behold, we have the snow. So let me just dig that out first of all. And we're gonna do some counting just in case you guys are really like unsure, like how many blocks did you actually actually dig out? I have no idea, I don't know. So, um, but let me just dig first. BRBs everybody. Much hole, very nice, I love it. And as always, what we're gonna start off with, this is episode four, you should know the drill. Snow is gonna be the ceiling material all over the place. So first is first, place the snow as a ceiling material in the whole perimeter. Behold, 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 the snow ceiling. Um, that was unexpected, I guess. But now we're gonna do something like this. We know there's a hallway here, right? It's covered up with some glowstone and stuff, but let me just remove that. And now you see, it. this is gonna be a hallway. So what we're gonna do, take some crab block and then just extend this wall just to cover it up, just to kind of point it out. There is gonna be a hallway over here. We're also gonna do this. We're gonna count from this pillar block. One, two, three, and on the fourth one make another one this is going to be a little bit tweaked in the future because we're going to have two door frames here and one here there's going to be a toilet here a little pantry type of thing not a pantry just a little like a storage unit for the kitchen with an extra fridge or something and this is going to be the kitchen so first is first we're going to surround this perimeter with crap material just pick something around here but stop in the end leave those three blocks intact because here we're gonna put some chisel quartz blocks and let me just here just go quartz there we go so this is gonna be the material for the kitchen so just put them here because there's gonna be an exit exactly the same as we have here we have those two door frames and this is gonna be the same as in, uh, but in the kitchen and the whole flooring here is gonna be the chisel quartz blocks also we're gonna divide this up a little bit we're gonna have a little uh, bathroom 
So put some, take some crap material and make a four by four perimeter. So we have four blocks this direction and there should be four blocks here in this direction. So we have four by four and this room over here is one, two, three, four, five by four. Okay, okay. And uh, we're gonna use the chisel course bricks in every single room here. We're gonna use them here in this kitchen. We're gonna use them in the bathroom. Well, but I can just place them here, I guess, on camera because I mean, the excitement, it's much wow here. There we go. This is gonna be a little like the storage room is also gonna be having the chisel course blocks and the whole kitchen. What goes for the hallway, we're gonna to get to that in a later stage. But first is the most important thing, the kitchen flooring. Chisel course blocks. Bam, 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 bada beam, bada boom. I'm just gonna pause here for a second, just in case you guys need uh, to catch up or something. So this is how it looks. Okay, done, done. Now take spruce wood and extend this wall all the way to the end. And you pretty much guessed it. Diorite. And then just taking the, the gray stained clay, light gray stained clay that is, and taking this all the way up to the ceiling for the moment. This is gonna be this wall. Not that exciting but we're gonna hide it away with some kitchen cupboards and it's gonna look absolutely snazzy and amazing. Also two, two blocks above here from the ceiling down. And what goes for the door frame here? Should we keep it simple? Let's keep it very simple. Let's just go court stairs for the moment and let's just not touch that. What we could do just to make it like a little bit nicer for the moment, just on video purposes. Let's just put some uh, bedrock here. There we go. And this is going to be going out. We can even have like a little, little kitchen uh, dining area over there. But uh, for now, that is it. Also, this wall here is going to be extended, but I'm going to think I'm going to start in this corner. Oh, by the way, I said I would count this. So from this wall here, from this wall, that direction, there's 23 blocks. Okay, 23 blocks in the hole that is. And from this wall across here, there should be 11. Should we count it? Yes, count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Perfect, pretty much. Now let's continue. I'm gonna place spruce wood 1, 2, and 3. The third one is gonna be going up, okay? Then jump away 1, take it up, and then all the way to the end. This is gonna be a little door frame. This is gonna be exactly as the other door frame. So it's gonna be 5 spruce wood in height. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. One, two, three, four, five. The one here in the middle is just going to be going across. But below this one, we're just going to put in some dark oak planks. <laughs> so let me just grab this, like that. And we're also going to grab a button. This button is going to be coming on this side as well. So a button just here and on this side. And the rest for the wall is going to be exactly the same as we did before. It's not going to be any variation here. If you're just looking for like different color choices, this might not be the video for you, all right? You might just want to skip this video because this is just going to be gray. We live in a gray world, right? Maybe not. It's pretty amazing. It's a very color. I see a rainbow. No, 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 no. There we go. So now that wall looks something like this. And then we're going to do the final wall here. It's going to be a little, little bit different because we're going to have two windows in this. We're going to start in this. Count one block like that, we're using a spruce wood, then two blocks of quartz, and do be fair and square. You can just use whatever crap material you prefer here because this is gonna be covered up anyhow. But let's just go to this side and do the same. So one spruce wood, one and two of the quartz, and then just use some crap materials. But since I got the spruce wood on me, I'm just gonna do the spruce wood just across like that. So we have one spruce wood, two quartz, one spruce wood, two quartz, and this in the middle should be seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Which means if we look at this shape, bam, 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 it is symmetrical to the door frame here. Seven blocks, seven blocks. Ain't that amazing? And back on this. So die right on this side, die right on that side, die right one and two, one and two. Those three in the middle, a little bit in the eye of the beholder once again. I'm gonna be using cracked bricks because the cracked bricks in this resource pack, which is the Vogue Flows 1.1, it looks something like this. And this is gonna be a pretty nice backdrop for the furnace area. Not too shabby, I'm gonna rise that up by three in total, so it's a three by three area. And uh, continue, behind those here, two by two area, we're gonna be putting some glowstone. So let me just grab some glowstone, where's the closest one? We should be just behind this little thing here. So let's just break it, get some glowstone, and hide that away again, perfect, done it. So glowstone, just behind here, like that. 
glowstone just behind that. And one, two, and four windows. So there's gonna be a two by two window. Don't 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 worry, we're gonna get there. And the rest of the, the wall height is pretty as much gonna be light gray hardened clay. As boring as it gets, but just fill the rest of the space. And you should be totally Gucci on this. Just like that, and I know it looks a little bit like, well, Kiralis, I've seen better shapes, but this is so going to be covered up with kitchen utilities and units and cupboards and whatnot, so we're not really going to notice that it's just two, two windows in height here. It's still going to look amazing and it's going to emit some light. So this is how it's going to look for the moment. Now we're going to move to this wall. Uh-huh, that's right, because now we've done every single wall around this kitchen area, so we're going to place a little cupboard. Gonna be using one, two, and three blocks of quartz in the bottom, then quartz stairs upside down by one, two, three, four, and five. Top layer should be a block of quartz. In between here, we're gonna be using dark oak wood stairs upside down, just to give it a little cool little vibe, okay? So just place them like this. Don't touch that yet, because the top one here is gonna be quartz stairs instead. Then what we're gonna do on this side is place block of course on the top and i'm just gonna do a little perimeter like that because that's gonna make my life much easier and then upside down course stairs all the way to the top and now i'm just gonna delete that so the shape here in the in the on the top elevation is uh, full block of quartz upside down course stair and full block of quartz so from a little distance it looks like this then i'm gonna grab some polish diorite this is the first one i'm using the polish one it's not polish like like polish polish not a po pole pole it's just polished diorite just place one two and three blocks then some shelving unit count it one and two so on the second one place a little shelf which is upside down course there in the middle and two on the sides like this then get up here to about here which is the fourth one so we one two three and four and do the same shape and once again even though this is not going to be used it's just going to give us a little cool shape here something like this you with me perfect and now we're going to jump to this wall here and continue the kitchen design so polish diorite not polish take it out by one two three four and five and the last two blocks take them out once more like that do the same on this side so one two three four and five and take them out so here in the middle we could just have some furnaces and let's grab some well the easiest way would be just to get here and uh, and pick that up perfect and then just fill this area with the furnaces also iron trap doors we're gonna do the same design or same little meth method as we did on the on the furnace out there what the crap there we go place iron trapdoors on the on the ground like that jump below here and uh, let me see there here so just here on from the bottom let's just place a free levers and click them <laughs> magical and then just cover up the area again so now that is a start of a little furnace area ain't that pretty pretty much and what goes for the area above the furnace, this is totally what you want to do. We could use weighted pleasure plates just to put them here. And that looks pretty snazzy. We could use detector rails. We can even use normal rails. It's all up to you guys. Like, this is even really cool because that gives you a little border. And then the red one here around it. So it looks a little bit more realistic, I guess. But um, I'm just going to keep it as this because we just built it like that. And it's, it's perfect. Then, back to the Polish diorite. Start in this corner. Count. One and two. Jump away leave a two block gap for the little fridge we're gonna use here and for the fridge i'm gonna use droppers and the cool thing about the droppers is if you place them from from the top they look really nice from from this angle and the cool thing is that you can actually access them from uh, like their, their inventories so if you're playing in a survival scenario this would be kind of cool because you could actually store food in them and just pick them up as a little fridge for example and some wooden buttons and how do you put them shift click them into place like this perfect done it pretty much also above the fridge which is going to put two full blocks of course you might be what what's what's going on well you just wait because now you're going to start the cupboard designs and a little like uh sucky sucky thing <laughs> from from like the smoke and 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 and, and, and the bad yeah the bad things from the from the from the, this area i guess 
And this might be a little bit tricky, but I'm gonna try to do it as easy as possible. So grab quartz, full blocks, place one here and one here, just above the diorite, okay? Next to them here, place a quartz slab on the top elevation on both sides, like this. Then using, using the chisel quartz blocks, place one and two, one and two on this side. In between here, on the top layer, just a quartz slab. So now you should be having this little shape. And then continue using the chisel course blocks here in the middle. One, two, and three. On both sides here in the little uh, space, a staircase out of course, and on this as well. So now it's starting to become something. Staircase on this side, staircase on this side, and a chisel course blocks in the middle. So let me just pause here for a second, just so you guys can see how it looks. And on the top here, we're gonna surround a little perimeter with upside down court stairs. So that should give you a gap. You can just fill that, by the way, if, if, if wanted. Doesn't really matter if you do or not, but uh, something... No, 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 no. That was completely wrong. We should just be turning here, like that. So that is the start of the sucky sucky thing with the bad smells from the, from the, from the furnace area. Stove. And now to make it easy for us, we're just gonna grab cord slabs and on the top layer of that full block, just go all the way to that. Do the same and can send it on this side. So as you can see, this just follows through the shape and goes out on that side and take it out all the way to the door. So that is a good start on the cover designs. And you can see now that the window here, which is a little bit obstructing and just it looks ugly, it's starting to disappear a little bit. So that, that's a good thing. Full box, of course. One, two and three. One, two and three. And one, two across. So leave a two by two area untouched for the moment. Let's jump to this side. Take it up by one, two and three and take it all the way here to the far end and take it up by one and two one and two one two and three so it looks something like this and here one two and three and take it across so now it looks something like this it's a lot of holes but don't worry you're gonna get there and in those holes i'm just gonna grab white stained glass and then just put it in like this should be representing like some type of cupboard for plates and whatnot it's, it's really like, you can tweak the material behind it, but using stained glass, it does usually tend to cover up the material uh, material in the back. So you don't really see it. Like if you don't want to use your glowstone, well, by all means, but I think this is, this is, this isn't really nice looking. So let's keep that. And then to core slabs, extend this shape here. One, two, and three. One, two, three, and four. So now it connects to that. This will give us a little glitch, I guess, in the lightning, but the uh, lighting, but doesn't really matter. So just put one here, extend this shape all the way to that side, and put one here, and then just take it all the way here to the far end, bam, and turn it, and continue this shape into that. So that is pretty much our kitchen kitchen roof design. We're not really gonna go crazy with the shapes like we did here. This is gonna be pretty much like that just. Now we're gonna make a little kitchen island with a sink and also a little place for you to eat at. So counting from this counter, leave a two block gap and place one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven full blocks of quartz. That leaves a two block gap on this side. And if you look at the door frame, it is pretty symmetrical above that. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven blocks of quartz slabs. And for the seating area, we're gonna be using Pistons, which means we need a lever, lever, and a piston. I'm just going to use the, the normal piston without the stickiness, because sticky is bad. Delete that, put a piston. Delete that, put a piston. Delete that, put a piston. So we have three seats to eat at, and they're very symmetrical with everything. Just, just amazing. Delete that, delete that, delete that. On the side of that block, just put a lever and flick it. Oh, <laughs> magic. And flick it. And flick it. Not too shabby, I would say. And you could leave them as they are. I think, like, but I'm gonna go for, like, you could go with a wooden trapdoor, for example. You can even use that for a seating effect. Let me just see how that looks. So if I would place this, oh, no, no, no. Like this, and then just flip it. You could just have it like that. Like, it doesn't look bad now, does it? No, 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 no. There we go. Something like this. I mean, that is that is totally a possibility if you want to use that. I think what we're going to go instead is maybe some wooden pleasure plates. Just to put on top of it. Just to make it a little bit more cozy. <laughs> not, not really cozy. And maybe even an item frame. Let me see, how does the item frame look? Because the item frame is pretty neat because you can place stuff within it. That looks less clumsy. 
Even though it doesn't really connect to the whole shablang, it looks much, much better. You can put stuff in it and be super happy about it. That is actually, that is a keeper. That is totally a keeper. And then on this side, we're gonna place a little sink. So first is first, die right here and die right here, just two blocks out. That should leave you a three block gap in between those. And here we're gonna place some court stairs. So it might look like, like a little bathtub, but it's not. It's actually a sink unit. Very simple, but it looks really nice. And if you have the possibility to world edit or something, the, the wisest idea would be just to get a trip wire hook and place it on that slab here in the middle. I don't have the world edit here, so I'm just gonna place a lever like that. Not ideal, but it's still gonna make like sense because it's not gonna be used as a sink now, is it? Because it's Minecraft, you know? And a flower pot with my favorite flower of them all, the blue orchid. Just because we can. We're gonna put more flowers around here, by the way, but for the moment, just a blue orchid, just like that. So let me just pause here for a little, little second. We're also gonna add some lighting here. So let me just think about this. Let's start here on this block, on the far end of, of the little like um, kitchen unit bar, middle island type of thing. <laughs> the strangest name ever. Delete one, jump away one, delete one, jump away one, delete one, jump away one, delete one, which means it's not really symmetrical when it comes to the ceiling designs, but it's symmetrical as you see to the, to the little like seating area we get going in the kitchen. In those gaps, delete one more and place some lanterns, just like this. Then some iron trapdoors. On the trapdoors and rods, one and two, one and two, one and two, one and two. And on top of them, or just on the bottom part, get some white stained plane, uh, panes, window panes in, like this. That is uh, that is not, not a bad looking little thing we got going. I quite like that. Also, once we got the end rods, let's just place in this corner, place an end rod with a um, white stained glass pane just on top. So that's gonna represent a little kitchen lamp. Let me just pause here for a second so you guys can uh, get the shape right. And I guess we could do so much more in the kitchen, but I think this would be enough. Let me just delete those torches. We're gonna see how much light there is here. And it's, it's plentiful, like, um, we don't really need much more. We do want to have some extra bushes and flowers around here. So let me just place one here. It's going to be a little fern. Could even place a little fern here. And if you have the possibility to use some player heads, you can make it like amazing stuff. I have, but I don't, I don't, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to place little ferns and, 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 and be super happy about it. So that is pretty much our kitchen. And if you like thinking like it's, it's fairly dark in here, Corrales, what you could do is you could remove some of the some of the, what you're gonna call it, the chisel quartz, put some glowstone and a carpet on top. Like this would be a glorious area for just, just in front of the sink. Not a bad idea, not a bad idea. But what it goes for the kitchen, for the moment being, this is pretty much done. Let me just pause here once more for a second, just in case you just wanna get some extra angles in this bad boy. Now we have this hallway. So from this side, it looks a little bit crapalicious. We got the beautiful kitchen, but we go out here and it's like, what's going on so first of all let me just grab this furnace and place the furnace here we're gonna start carving this out what i'm gonna do first is i'm gonna grab do we have any dark oak planks i think we had some in the kitchen now didn't we yes we have just here above the door frame perfect we're gonna make a little flooring here so i'm gonna delete that and in between the door frames we're just gonna have some of the dark oak planks like this we can even add it here as well and in between, nah, let's just leave it at that. And the rest of the flooring is gonna be dark oak stairs. And you might be, oh no, Karas, not one of those trippy floors, but uh, why not? Why not? It, it looks pretty fabulous. Okay, this wall is gonna be extended, by the way. There we go. Turn it, and in the middle, just full dark oak planks. So it's gonna be one of those trippy floors which you're gonna fall over, but as you can see, I walk here and nothing is really happening. We're not really falling down into, into the abyss. So uh, that is the first step in the hallway. Let me just pause here for a second. Like this. Also, here in the far end, we're gonna extend this wall a little bit. As you can see, the kitchen wall comes here, so we're just gonna extend it by one, two, and three. Although the middle one here is gonna be a full block, of course, because there's gonna be a window. Yes, sirree. But then it's gonna be diorite and gray stained clay all the way to the top like this one here and then let me just grab uh, some glowstone 
we're gonna have one, two, three, and four glowstone. Get back here, grab a window. One, two, three, and four windows, and on top of that, just uh, some uh, quartz, like this. And then we gonna we're gonna build this wall, I guess. We know that the room is gonna be splitting here, so we could just go with the spruce wood logs just across like that. We're gonna have a little door frame. The door frame is gonna be coming just here. So we have door frame, wall, and a door frame, and it's gonna be looking pretty much exactly the same as the kitchen door frame. So five spruce wood blocks up, one across, five up, and never neglect the buttons. But on this side. But on that side, that's gonna be our toilet in the future. Not sure we're gonna have time for that today, but at least we're gonna have that in the future. And then just keep extending. We're gonna have one, two, three, four blocks of spruce and a door frame. So jump away and then just continue the wall all, all the way to the end. So if you stand here in the corner, there's one, two, and three blocks of spruce from this wall like, like this. Then a door frame, then one, two, three, four spruce wood, and a door frame. One, two, and three spruce wood. Perfect. Pretty, pretty amazing. And now the wall itself is just gonna be diorite greatly all the way to the top. Very, very boring. But the door frames are pretty exciting. So one, two, three, four, five spruce wood up like this. One across and some buttons. That is kind of like the most exciting thing. And now you might be like, you're cross, but this is not symmetrical with that. It's just bad looking. Don't worry. This looks nice, because now we have a purpose, as you see here. It flows very nicely, so if we go from this room, it's just basically just straight up in the kitchen. Uh-huh. It's got a purpose behind it. And remove that block and put a furnace in that. And the rest of the wall is gonna be diorite. And gray, light gray clay, all the way to the top. And same goes for this wall here, which is within the little, like, kitchen storage unit. Spruce wood diorite and gray clay all the way to the top and what goes for the ceiling design here for example in the storage unit here on the far end just place a perimeter of some crap material because this is not going to be shown whatsoever then take some dark oak stairs and then just loop them around upside down like this connect them up nicely and in the middle we can just use some uh, some sea lanterns or even glowstone just all in the beholder i guess and do the same here in the bathroom so here is four by four so there's no like no tricks behind this, no secrets. Two by two of the sea lanterns and dark oak all the way around the perimeter. If you really want to hide away the, the sea lanterns, just place some iron trapdoors. Not sure that's gonna really do much good. Does it hide away any ugliness or does it even look uglier? I don't know, might just add some more details, so let's just keep it at that. We're also gonna add a little secondary fridge and it's gonna be exactly the same design, but it's gonna be a little bit higher. So droppers placed from above, which looks like this, four in height. We could place some buttons if wanted and you could even access them just in case. Next to them in this two area, just diorite. So that shape looks nice and just follows through. Core stairs, one and two. And then you can just you do some shelving units. It's, it's kind of like, all up to you guys like we might just do something like this that looks pretty neat and nice we could turn them here on the top it's uh whatever you, you kind of prefer let me just see how this looks not too shabby i guess it, it makes sense but i think i'm just gonna go with those we just we first place maybe even nah that looks really nice i like that little shape here and on this side we're just gonna place some iron trap tours so on the top of each block just across then jump away place more, jump away, and place more. And what this means is that you can actually put stuff on top of him if, if wanted. I don't think we can do that without world edit, I guess, but you could put, put like a full block. You can store that, just in case you want to store a block of diorite. It's just possible. So that is the little storage room. We don't gonna have any doors into this place, but uh, ain't that neat. I liked it a lot. And let's also do this little hallway here. Once we got the court stairs upside down, like this makes a little bench design and here we could have a little flower for example blue orchid my favorite one and a lamp design so let's just grab an end rod poop it here and a white stained paint which is acquired about here so there's a little lamp in the corner it's gonna look really nice when it's fully like completed we just go in here and it's gonna be amazing on the other side behind this we might make 
We might just make a... Like, whoa! Holy crap, that's, that scared the crap out of me, dude! Oh, being scared of my Minecraft. <laughs> like, honestly, I jumped. But behind this... Uh, behind this... Um, glowstone wall... Dude, come... Do you really want to be here or uh, just walk about? We might have, like, a staircase. Oh, hi, buddy. We might have a staircase going up or a staircase going down or just a corridor with some bedrooms in the far end. Just a few, maybe, like, two or three or, or whatnot. We're just going to see. But we're also going to purify this a little bit. And what I think we're going to do here, just temporarily, just extend a little thing going across here. So it's going to be another door frame. Might not be the prettiest one, but just for the moment, I think that's going to just work fine. And also, let's just grab some dark oak stairs and put a perimeter all the way around this room. Upside down, obviously. Upside down. Upside down. It's going to be upside down. Just like that. And let's divide it up a little bit using some uh, slabs. So using the dark oak, make a two block gap of snow here. Then jump away. So one, two, three, make a three block gap out of snow. One, two, three, and place one here. So that should be symmetrical. Two block gap, three block gap, three block gap, and two block gap. And the middle ones here, we could just demolish them or remove them. And let me just get some lanterns into this bad boy. So lantern, lantern, and just some trapdoors like that. We could even take them down if wanted or something. We could even make more of them. But that should be plentiful for the moment. And also make maybe a little painting. Can I just grab a painting like this? Middle bus button. Perfect. A little painting here. Not a lime. There's a one with a little flower which is like a white and... Uh, not a lime. White and purple. That would be quite suiting. Not bad. And uh, if we want, we could even extend a little table design here. I know it doesn't work with the flooring we got going, but it's still going to work. And have another lamp here, just in case we want to find this like, oh my god, this is a little bit dark and, and scary and eerie. Could just do this. Having more of those about. It's all up in the eye of the beholder. But that's going to do it for today's episode. It's been long enough, and I'm sorry about the derpiness, but... Um, I got a guy in the kitchen. Hi, guy. Uh, we've made tons of nice progress. Like, we got the family living room with the family bushes, we got the kitchen unit, we got uh, the hallways, we got a uh, former living room, we got a dining area. We will have a toilet over here. We do have a little storage unit to the kitchen. A guy in the kitchen and the kitchen, once again. Thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, whatever day you're watching, but have a very nice day. See you guys in the next episode, and... Um, Hit the like button, guys. Leave some comments. That, that, that is what triggers me to make more videos. So just smash the like, leave some comments, feedback, and whatnot. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Kiral is over and out. But hey, let's not neglect this. Shaders. BSL shaders to begin with. How do we look? Oh, that's a nice looking snazzy kitchen. Holy crap, this is amazing looking. Yeah, maybe a little titty bit more light would, would be suiting. But it's definitely like, <laughs> this is definitely a very cozy place. Hi, buddy. And the cool thing about building underground, it looks really amazing without the shaders. As long as you get, as long as you get a, like a resource pack and whatnot, it just, it really does pop out. Yeah. If you want to live underground, you will need to live in style. And if you build something like this, you would live like in style totally. And also, let me just see the shaders, which is called continu Continuum. Shaders Continuum. Yeah, this is the ones which the sun comes through. Holy crap. Let me just see the kitchen. Even though the sun will disappear. How does it look? If this was if this was not underground, this is how it might look. Because the sun is coming in. So if we would have a skylight here in this kitchen, that this is, this is how it would look. In 2 FPS. <laughs> Pretty amazing, ain't, ain't it? <laughs> All right, let's just go. Shaders and off. Perfect. Thank you so much for watching. Smack the like button, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode. Let me know what you wanna do. What you wanna do in the next episode? Should we do a few bedrooms? And let me know about the idea here. Should we have a staircase going up, down, or just a little corridor? I think the corridor, because I did mention that you should dig at least 12 blocks in depth. And if some people are like, oh my god, I just did 12 blocks and now you're building an upstairs, it's gonna be bad. So we're gonna see. But anyhow, until next time.
Much love. Kiralis. Over now. Let's just take a peek at the kitchen. Last time. The kitchen. Bye, everybody.